twas the night before the exam, and Zane has to decide to sleep or not to sleep. That is the question. Uh, why can't I remember this? I just learned it yesterday. Hey Zane, can you help me with this question? I know you took math last semester. Michael, can't you see I'm studying for a test? Can we just talk about this later? What's all this racket about? You guys are keeping me up with all your bickering. Don't you see what you're about to do? Waking him up won't do any good. And what is this I heard about you wanting him to drink more coffee and take more naps? According to Dr. Stepinski, naps are less restorative than consolidated sleep and leads to sleepiness-related daytime impairment in concentration and memory. And that caffeine? It's not going to be enhancing his performance. It's merely going to be sustaining his current performance. Sleep ain't important right now. We gotta test the age. Yeah, that's right. Studies out there have investigated the performance of children following sleep restriction and have found that sleep restriction resulted in poor performance on measures of verbal creativity and on memory tasks, such as the Wisconsin card sorting test, compared to their non-restricted sleep group. So when sleep becomes more and more restricted, studies have indicated that poor performance can be expected on tests that measure attentiveness, reaction time, and working memory. So all these terms he's forgetting, that's because we haven't had our synaptic constructors on their job. They aren't getting enough sleep. When Zane had sleep, we had them creating new neural pathways, strengthened pre-existing synapses, and erasing all unnecessary information we took in from the day. Now who remembers the SpongeBob SquarePants theme song? Who lives on a pineapple under the sea? Okay, so we learned that when we were just 10. But who remembers what Kohlberg's theory of moral development is? Zane just learned it. Clearly, learning is not happening when you're sleep deprived. Well, I guess that could account for him learning his class material so slowly. I mean, he usually could learn that in like an hour, and now it's taken him like four. I can't even right now. <sighs> Hold yourself together, sadness. If she had sleep, she wouldn't be feeling so blue. You know, sleep is essential for maintaining proper emotional balance, which you all clearly are lacking. You're calling me emotional? Basically, yes. Studies looking at high school students who obtained less sleep on school nights or varied their school night and weeknight bedtimes greatly, or both, have found that these students are more likely to suffer from depressed mood, and others have reported that sleep loss allows for more moodiness because of reduced regulation over mood. You see, when you're sleep deprived, you lose the ability to make decisions clearly, demonstrate greater impulsivity, and finally, you have decreased problem solving ability. Clearly, Zane is sleep deprived. <coughs> Oh, this cough is driving me crazy! I'm, I got a headache from all this noise! <sighs> Welcome to Brain Time News! Hold on, we've got a report coming in! Our antibody count is low, since we've been sleep deprived. I also see reports here that interleukin-2 is down. Oh no, that can't be good. That is the chemical messenger that regulates our white blood cells. We need those for fighting off infection. Let's see about our NK cells. Ah, down as well. Well, there goes our first responders to the site of infection. No wonder Zane is sick. 
I knew this was coming. The decreased NK activity you're seeing? Studies have indicated that that doesn't just mean a reduction in the number of circulating NK cells. We're talking an impairment in NK cell activity. Lytic activity per NK cell has been significantly reduced. Oh, we have to get him up and put him to bed. You guys with me or not? Well, I can't take these alarms anymore. They're so annoying. Uh, I guess sleep really is more important than studying. So yeah, I agree with you. Sleep on three. One, two, two three. three. So all is well at Zane Brain Inc. Here we have Zane recalling all his readings from last night and synaptic connections are working hard to consolidate all this incoming information. Reports from Braintime News are indicating that the immune system is well staffed again. Looks like sleep has really restored peace at Zane Brain Incorporated. And all a good night.